Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and today I'll be presenting the Muhal R89 Razor. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support on this hybrid channel. I'm always trying to different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more razor and shave videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So today I'm going to uh, review Muhal R89, which I have it right here. And at the same time, I'm just going to show you a comparison between these two razors. This is Edwin uh, Jagger R86, but they also have R89 version, which is just a slight, uh, you know, there's uh, one thing which is uh, not like this. And I'm going to, you know, tell you that in a second. So I'm going to re review this one first thing and then we'll, we'll look at some of the comparisons between uh, these two razors so what happened I made a shaving uh, review video uh, you know showing my face and shaving with this razor and that was my full review but uh, my file got uh, corrupted and I lost all the video so now I decided not to like you know uh, shave uh, and do a shaving video anymore rather I'll just like you know do a dry video uh, I'll just like you know go over some of the specs and stuff here and at the same time because this looks so much similar to this uh, razor so I'll just you know show you some comparisons and stuff so this is a Muhal R89 made in Germany and uh, some of the specs we have here are this is a mild razor and closed comb and this is a chrome plated brass and uh, the ounce or the weight is uh, 2.36 ounce and 76 and the length is 9.7 inches or 9.4 centimeter and the handle diameter is 13.3 millimeter now what I noticed that when you are actually looking at different websites there are like you know weight discrepancies between these two so I just picked up from the Muhal uh, website but uh, you know the weight doesn't match with many other websites so you know do, do not just like you know go by the weight what you see the actual weight would be different but whenever I'm touching these two definitely I have a feeling that this is more heavier uh, than Edwin Jagger but looks like some websites are mentioning that Edwin Jagger is heavier so that's something I wanted to let you know so now this is a closed comb razor so what it means that you know the combs here uh, they're closed they're not open and this is very suitable for you know new or first time uh, double edge razor users uh, it's giving uh, it's going to give you a mild and comfortable shape so the moment you pick up the razor you can see the quality in it uh, the like you know gnarling face here uh, it prevents slipping out of your uh, fingers and then this is a three-piece razor so what it means that you know if you detach it it's going to break into three pieces so you can see that there are three pieces here uh, one two and three so you install the blade here and put it here and then you just you know close it and then you shave so when you're closing it if you look here very carefully like right here you can see that very little gap so that tells you right away that you know this is going to be a very smooth and mild shave and this is very suitable for if you're new or if you're pro uh, because this is going to like you know, your skin is going to appreciate it because there's not that much opening here so this is going to give you very like you know gentle nice mild shave now the quality is all over this is uh, you know made in germany and you can tell and uh, the price range of this razor is about 45 to 100 dollars I do not uh, provide any affiliated links, so you cannot buy it from my website, uh, from my YouTube channel. But uh, if you're looking online to buy, uh, my suggestion would be do a search and check that uh, other, you know, retailers may give you better price than Amazon. Because when I was checking, I saw that you know Amazon is uh, Amazon has it for hundred like Canadian dollars, but there are many other online sites uh, offered uh, forty five dollars, fifty fifty five dollars and uh, i actually didn't buy this from amazon i bought it from another retailer and i paid much less so just you know do your research so the thing is you cannot go wrong with this razor you know it feels so good to handle and it keeps you so you know close and, and mild shave that this is a really good razor for beginner and uh, on the side it has a little bit tab opening so what it means that when you insert the blade 
the blade is going to be out very little not too much but that's uh, not an issue uh, for like you know me or probably for many of us not every blade can hide the side or edge of the blade but that's how the blade works and this is Muhal R89 now if you look at this uh, razor which is Edwin Jagger R86 and if you look at the specs side by side everything looks very identical both are you know chrome plate uh, plated brass both are mild closed comb weight is very similar length is very similar handle uh, the Edwin Jagger is a little bit shorter than the Muhal for example if you take a look here you can see that this is uh, much much shorter but now one thing is this has a rubberized grip which is right here but you can buy without the rubberized grip which is going to be R89 uh, and even if, an, uh, if you look at this version this is R89 as well and even if you look on the front and the back side by side you can see that they're very same and identical so I'm just going to uh, you know remove the head uh, just to show you what I mean by that okay so if you're taking a look at here and look at here they're very exactly the same except Edwin Jagger has the logo here and then if you take a look here and if you take a look here exactly the same so when I first bought the razor and I didn't know much about razor I thought someone copied each other but then uh, later on I found out that uh, Edwin Jagger and Muhal has a joint venture and some of their like you know razors uh, share the same uh, blade head so like you know they have the same head uh, and, but different handle so that's why they look very identical so you cannot go wrong with buying any one of these you know both are very mild and smooth razor because you can see that you know they have the same head but this is made in England uh, which is uh, the Edwin Jagger and the Muhal is made in Germany and if you will if you wish you can also buy Muhal same like you know uh, metal uh, handle uh, but this is like you know um, rubberized handle and it feels very smooth to hold uh, another thing about the Muhal is the handle thickness is much better than other razors so that makes you very like you know that gives you a very good grip and it feels very comfortable to hold so the handle diameter I was able to get it from a website was 13.3 mm or millimeters so you can tell that you know this kind of has a fat handle and for that reason you know this is a very uh, good grip razor and then it gives you very good shape but you know uh, this is Moonhall R89 and Edwin Jagger R86 or 89 they're same thing and you cannot go wrong buying any one of these and when I shave with these uh, like you know I feel very comfortable and even now I can go fast uh, without without like you know cutting or scratching myself because they're really smooth razors so the Muhal uh, is uh, made in Germany but it's kind of uh, you, you're going to find uh, Edwin Jagger more uh, this is it has more availability than Muhal and also like you know Muhal on some websites they're very high priced for example hundred dollar or around that range but other retailers you might be able to find it uh, cheaper uh, someone told me that actually if you buy if you're buying from Muhal in Europe it's always cheaper if you're buying Muhal from North America it's always expensive so I have a feeling that some of these websites who are selling Muhal probably they're like in European websites but if you walk into a store and buy Muhal then so definitely you're paying more in uh, North America than in Europe so it's a Europe is a good place to buy Muhal because that's where they sell it for cheaper but definitely I like uh, Muhal this is a very good uh, razor and I like also the Edwin Jagger so this is the review of the Muhal and at the same time I wanted to just give you some quick you know uh, similarities between these two razors because they do a joint venture and some of their you know blades are sorry razors have the same head so it's not uh, they're copying each other it's just a joint uh, you know business uh, uh, venture they have together so thank you for watching this video uh, for the next uh, double edge safety razor video I'm going to put a link on the screen I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching